there are a lot of Miata purists in the world, as you can imagine. And while I respect all those folks, the Mazda Speed is sort of rare. A lot of people definitely have told me directly to my face that I'm kind of dumb for doing this, for sure, yes. We're at LS Fest 2019. This is Tom. You may recognize him from Tom's Turbo Garage. What's up, everybody? What did you bring to LS Fest today? I brought my 2004 Mazda Speed Miata. Oh, what do we have here? Oh. LS3 conversion. Did the old turbo four-cylinder delete and the LS3 option. So you did a whole video series on this, didn't you? Yeah, you know, back in the day, I used to share my builds on, um, on the internet, just post pictures and build forums and stuff. And uh, got my garage built, thought it looked kind of cool in there. So I started doing a little filming and then it turned into sort of these build series. Uh, and I did, documented the whole process of building this thing on my YouTube channel. Way back in the day in Car and Driver Magazine, they had a review of the 90 Miata and they had a little single page that showed uh, the five liter monster Miata back then. And when I saw that, I knew all the way back in high school, at 19, uh, <laughs> that I wanted to build a monster Miata. But when the LS came along in the mid 2000s, people you know, started swapping them into stuff. And I saw the Miata was a good candidate for that. Game over, I started planning right away. I really like how you kept it looking OEMs-ish. So like, what was the secret to that? What engine did you end up using? Originally, my plan was to do a lot of junkyard stuff and, you know, rebuild things, clean things up. But, you know, sometimes your builds get a little out of hand. This is no different. I ended up using the LS376 525 from Summit Racing uh, and GM Performance. So full new crate engine. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of went for it. You had any haters about you taking the engine out of the Mazda Speed? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, there are a lot of Miata purists in the world, as you can imagine. And while I respect all those folks, um, the Mazda Speed is sort of rare. And uh, a lot of people definitely have told me directly to my face that I'm kind of dumb for doing this, for sure, yes. But, yeah, I I, and I, you know what, I kind of see where they're coming from sometimes. No, honestly. that's their opinion. <laughs> so what do you do with this car? Like, do you drive it? everywhere do you just drive it on nice sunny days yeah you know I got a bunch of kids so as much as I my original plan was to go racing all the time with it as we all kind of hope to do I think but turns out I uh, had all these kids and what I do more or less is just take it places I drive it to work um, so I just had a lot of fun with like drove it up here from uh, Knoxville I just like taking it places uh, but mainly just blast around the mountain roads near my house <laughs> how many hair dryers do you own Big you own a Miata, so yeah. I mean, look at my hair. Is it's obvious I own a hair dryer. I mean, look at this, right? That's perfection. It's perfect. So, you used the GM uh, performance engine. Uh, what did you use for plumbing on the car? So I used uh, Earl's Vapor Guard for the entire system. Uh, it's impervious to all the newer E85 fuels. It doesn't let you know. It doesn't smell up your garage with gasoline. It's really awesome stuff. I wanted a fuel system that would last the life of the car. That was sort of my goal with this whole thing. I wanted to build it to last. Maybe my son can drive it someday. So I used all Earl's components from the tank all the way up to the fuel rail. So you've done this build. Um, you're currently working on another LS swap build. What's that? Yes. I had the crazy idea of putting a GM V8 into my 2002 Toyota Tacoma. Now doing an LS swap in a Tacoma is not enough, obviously. You gotta turbocharge it. So doing a turbo in there also. And for that build, you decided to use Terminator X on it? Yes, I originally was going to go down the road of a junkyard ECU, wiring harness, chase all that down, hope it was good, strip it all out, hours and hours of work, uh, use some sort of software to tune it, and all the external gauges I was gonna have to run, and I was just dreading this whole thing. And then I saw online that you all had released the Terminator X system, and it was just like perfect. Uh, it was perfect timing, and I immediately just had to have this thing, and it's been so awesome. I mean, it was so simple to install, and now that the truck's running, I've been driving around a little bit, the Terminator X Max system is so incredible. I mean, just the little handheld device is so useful, and you can make little changes on the fly. I just think it's the ultimate system for LS swaps. Hopefully you can bring it by next year and make some passes down yes, the track. Yes, I came this close to being able to bring it. It just wasn't quite, it just wasn't quite ready, but uh, it'll be here next year, I hope. You got this Miata, you got the Tacoma. Where can people find out more information about this? Well, you can uh, get on to YouTube, and if you just search Tom's Turbo Garage, you'll find all the builds I've done over the years, including this one and my 2002 Tacoma. So I, I really appreciate you coming out. Hope hey. you had a good time today. Thank you. Thank and you. 
don't do any hairdresser stuff in this car while driving. Well, I can't make any promises, you know what I'm saying?